Nature will rise against you. When Hearthstone was first released, Druid was one of its nine original classes. Druids are the protectors of nature and are known for their many nature spells, their mana manipulation and their ways to generate attack and armor. Druid is a really fun class to play, so much so that it seems to be the only class anyone is talking about these days. But I've tried expanding on the Druid class with brand new cards and mechanics in the hopes that I could make the class even more fun to play, and perhaps also to play against. This overhaul started out small, but as I was working on it I got the idea for a different direction, and then our viewers submitted their take on a Druid overhaul that I just had to include. So this video will include 3 different overhauls of the Druid class, and at the end you guys can decide which you like better. Let's start with the first I made, which I've named Between the Branches. With this overhaul you'd get to choose between 3 different specializations, similar to how Death Knight has their 3 runes. You choose your specialization, or branch as they are called, when you start building your deck by clicking one of three different hero powers available, each with a small emblem beneath them to show what branch they are associated with. This will become your deck's hero power, and you will gain access to cards with an emblem that matches the one of the hero power you chose, which you can see on a small interface above your deck. Clicking the emblem on that interface will take you back to select a new hero power and branch. So what are these new hero powers? Well, you could choose the hero power Restoration, which will restore 3 health to your hero for 2 mana. Or you could choose Feral, which is just the old druid hero power that gives your hero plus 1 attack this turn and 1 armor for 2 mana. Or finally you could choose Balance, which has choose 1, restore 3 health to your hero or plus 1 attack this turn and plus 1 armor, basically letting you choose between the other 2 hero powers, but for 3 mana. If you manage to upgrade any of these hero powers, you will gain a different hero power depending on what branch you chose. Upgrading the restoration hero power will give you full restoration, which will restore 5 health to your hero for 2 mana. Feral will give you fully feral, which will give your hero plus 2 attack this turn and 2 armor for 2 mana. And balance will give you full balance, which will restore 3 health to your hero and give your hero plus 1 attack this turn and 1 armor for 3 mana. This overhaul would also introduce some specialized cards. Now I know a lot of you guys don't like specialized cards, so that's why there are also two other overhauls in this video which don't have specialized cards. But these specialized cards would only be usable in decks with the same specialization. Now let's move on to the next overhaul I made. This overhaul would give Druid a new mechanic that interacts with the Trayan token. I call this overhaul Cycle of Nature. In this overhaul I've given Druid a new resource, kinda, or at least a resource counter that you would find under your mana crystal tray, similar to Death Knight's corpse counter. This meter is called your cycle of nature, or just cycle for short. This meter fills up by 1 any time you cast a nature spell, up to a maximum of 5, and you won't lose any progress on this meter until the game ends. So what do you use this cycle for? Well you may have noticed certain thresholds on this meter. At 0, 2 and 5 there are emblems instead of the usual bar that light up when filled. Like I said this mechanic would interact with the Trayan token and this is done by reaching those thresholds. You see this overhaul would completely overhaul the Trayans and any cards that summon them. From now on Trayans will be referenced as ends with the word bolded like a keyword and without mentioning the stat line. This is because Ents can be one of three different tokens, each associated with one of the thresholds on the cycle. When your cycle is at zero, any cards that summon Ents would summon 1-1 one, one saplings. Then when you reach 2 on the cycle, your cards that summon Ents would summon 2-2 two, two Trayans instead. And finally if you reach 5 on the cycle, your end cards would summon 5-5 five, five Ancients. Advancing the cycle of nature will only upgrade future ends summoned and not any already in your hand or battlefield. I imagine the end keyword would only be present during deck building. In game it would just mention what token you summon depending on what stage you are on in your cycle. This overhaul would also introduce a new keyword for druid, cyclical x. Cyclical x is a bonus when your cycle of nature is at x or more. Here are a few examples of cards with cyclical. I also made this legendary card, which interacts with your cycle of nature, Scenarius Forest Lord. The cleansing has begun. 
Cenarius is a 6 mana 5 8 legendary minion for druid with a start of game effect. If all the spells in your deck are nature spells, Cenarius will add an extra stage to your cycle of nature. This means she will increase the meter from 5 to 10, and when you reach 10 on the cycle, your card that summon it will summon 8 8 giants. Now for the last overhaul. This idea was submitted by a viewer named Blistactyl here on YouTube and I've named this update Overgrown. The idea with this overhaul is a rebalancing of Druid's ram mechanic. This overhaul would add a new card type called Overgrown that many older cards would get recategorized as. Being an Overgrown card really does nothing to the card's text, but when you play an Overgrown card, all your future Overgrown cards this game will cost one more, up to a maximum of 10. Overgrown cards are represented with a banner under their mana crystal, as seen on this new version of Wild Growth. And as a baseline, all overgrown cards will be cheaper than usual, but if you intend to play a lot of ramp cards, that cost will quickly grow. As a way to keep track of how many overgrown cards you played, this overhaul would also introduce a new counter under your mana crystal tray, with the same emblem as the banners on the cards, which will increase by 1 any time you play a card with overgrown. All the cards that give you mana crystal would become overgrown cards. But overgrown could also be used to balance other problematic group cards, such as Truck Gem Tusser. Truck Gem Tusser dealing a bazillion damage on turn 5 is not fun, but if you ramped a lot to get the Gem Tusser out quick, it would now also cost a lot of your mana. Well, that's it for all the different overhauls in this video. As you can see, this video would be a bit much if it all was introduced together, so let me know which of the overhauls you'd most want to see added to Hearthstone. And a huge thanks to Blitz Stack Tool for coming up with the design for the overgrown mechanic. If you have any ideas for a class overhaul, feel free to share it, and it might end up in a video just like this. Thanks for watching, make sure to hit the like button if you enjoyed the video and subscribe for more custom Hearthstone content. And I'll see you guys next time. Thank you.